As an Adobe stock artist, your public portfolio page is an opportunity to attract potential customers to do a deeper dive into your work and to potentially increase your sales. There are a few steps that you can take to enhance your Adobe stock homepage and make it more appealing to view while showcasing images that you want to highlight. Hi, I'm Adobe stock artist evangelist Matt Hayward and in this brief video, I'll show you how to create a custom collection featuring the content you want and how to set your header image and customize your display name. When Adobe Stock customers find an image they really like, often they want to see more work from the same artist. And so to do that, they simply click the name of the artist adjacent to the preview image. What that does is it takes them to the public facing portfolio page of the contributor. And so as a contributor, you want to make that as appealing as possible. To do so, you can select a header image, a panoramic image that will be featured up at the top and that shows your name. You can also create custom collections because right now you're not there's not a lot of control over what images show up on your home page they're fairly random uh, and so you want to be able to create custom collections that showcase images that you really like and so to do that you want to visit the adobe stock contributor portal when you first go to the portal by default you should land on the dashboard page if for some reason you're not on the dashboard page there's a link up at the top of every single page within the contributor portal that'll take you here and so while you're in the dashboard section, you can sort your images by either those that have the most downloads or you can sort by date. And so when you sort by date, it shows the most recent images that you have submitted. And so let's say we want to create a collection that shows these fishing images. And so I'm going to go ahead and select the images that I want to add to the collection by checking this little box in the upper right hand corner. So here's four images from a fishing trip. Now I can add that to a collection, either an existing collection, or I can create a new collection. And so let's call this Fishing Puget Sound. Create the collection. The images are now added to that collection. And so we'll go back to sorting by downloads, and let's go ahead and pick a header image. And so the header image needs to be well displayed in a panoramic format and it needs to be well displayed from the center. We don't have a cropping option to cust we can't customize the crop right now so it needs to naturally fit. So let's take this picture of my golden retriever I'm going to click on the thumbnail itself and now you'll see a link that says make profile cover image. Click that and that's going to change your portfolio your, your header image. It takes about 10 to 15 minutes. The system needs to refresh before it goes in there and so you'll see mine is still displaying the image that was there uh, but in about 10 to 15 minutes this will be updated and so we've created a header image we've created a collection but maybe there's some images that we can't we haven't found yet uh, in the dashboard section you know I've got hundreds and hundreds of pages in my dashboard section but maybe there's another fishing picture that I want to add and so I can do a search in my portfolio for fishing and I'll see all these images. So now let's say this Mahi Mahi picture should be um, added to that collection. And so I click on that image. I see here's the file number. And so now I want to copy this file number. I'll go back to the dashboard section in the contributor portal. I'm going to paste that file number into the search box. And now there it is. And so I'm going to go ahead and check that box. I'm going to add to the collection that I've already created which is Fishing Puget Sound, although you cannot catch Mahi Mahi in the Puget Sound, that should be noted. Um, there we go. And so now I've got the images, the everything I want in the collection. And so what's next? I want to go ahead and feature that collection on my home page. And so I can click on that link that says Collections. And here's this one, Fishing Puget Sound. I'm going to select it, click Feature on my public profile. And that's all there is to it. And so in about 10 to 15 minutes, that collection is going to show up on my home page. The header image is going to show up on my home page. But I want to change the name of my home page. And so I'm going to click Contributor Account. I'm going, to, I'm going to hit the little edit icon below See My Public Profile. Shows my first name and last name as it is. And then my display name, maybe I want to change it to Matthew Hayward. You can type in the display name hit save changes and that is that so I've waited about 10 minutes and we go back to my public facing portfolio page and we see the new image 
has surfaced as the header, my handsome golden retriever Hudson with a smiling face, and the fishing collection has also appeared on the home page. You can click the see collection tab to see the images that we've selected. And that's that. Thanks for tuning in. We've got plenty of other videos showing you how to navigate the Adobe Stock Contributor Portal. My name is Matt Hayward. We'll see you next time.